From UFOs to ghosts and psychic powers, history is riddled with unexplained events. You can turn back now or learn the stuff they don't want you to know. Humanity is one of nature's success stories. Our species has spread across the planet using our wits to survive, and we use our intellect for more than the pursuit of food, shelter, and clothing. Every culture is steeped in a mythical tradition, an imaginary world filled with supernatural beings. Most of these creatures are unique, and some, like giants, are universal. Why? Here are the facts. Human height varies. Women in the Philippines have an average height of 4 feet and 11 inches, while men in Denmark have an average height of 5 feet and 11 inches. Height varies due to nutrition, environmental factors, and genetics, including mutation. After all, Robert Wadlow, the tallest man in history, was 8 feet and 11 inches tall. So we know that very tall individuals have existed due to mutation or medical conditions like acromegaly, a condition that causes the pituitary gland to produce excess growth hormone. Yet legends surrounding giants don't dwell on one or two isolated cases. From reports of Patagonian hulks to the titans of the Solomon Islands, tales of giant communities linger in the modern day. Descriptions of giants across the world are eerily similar. The biblical Goliath was polydactyl with six digits on each hand and foot. Statues in the Pacific bear the same extra digits. If archaeologists didn't know better, they might assume giants were real based on their consistent appearance in the historical record. Would this be correct? Here's where it gets crazy. Thousands of people believe a race of giants did exist. Some base their belief on religious tomes. These theorists think the books of Genesis, Numbers, and Deuteronomy describe a genuine race of giants. Recent discoveries of Apocrypha, manuscripts omitted from the modern Bible, place great importance on these creatures. Another theory focuses on Earth's changing environment. Scientists like Dr. Carl Baugh believe the oxygen-rich conditions of previous eras created larger organisms. Many giant animals could not exist today, they say, because the atmosphere won't permit it. We know organisms can shrink over time in a process called insular dwarfism. Could the reverse occur? There's one piece missing, however. Evidence. If there were so many giants, then why can't we find the skeletons? According to some researchers, we have. Fossils of the Gigantopithecus, a primate that lived in Southeast Asia as recently as 300,000 years ago. This 10-foot-tall creature could have coexisted with Homo erectus. Some scientists think this primate contributed to the legends of giants and may even have been closer to humans than we think. Large skeletons have also allegedly been discovered across the New World, and Native American tribes have also attested to the presence of giants like the red-headed Siteka in Lovelock, Nevada. In every case, the skeletons have disappeared, convincing some researchers that mainstream science is covering up the evidence. If there is a conspiracy afoot, it's a giant cover-up. Why go to the trouble if giants are already extinct? Or are they? Some theorists argue that the giants are aliens. To this group, the giants are also the fathers of human civilization and constructed homo sapiens from the hominids they found. These theorists also believe the giants will return. In this case, the cover-up comes from governments trying to prevent mass hysteria. It's an interesting notion, but it sounds far-fetched to say the least. Could mankind have shared the earth with a larger cousin? Or are all these stories only that? Stories and legends. Is there, hidden away in the past, something they don't want you to know? <laughs>